Mapongas letters which come from the SDA. I don't know if they were sending them directly or what. And then I will tackle that with something that's been happening uh, very recently with this entire thing of being more African than what you are. <laughs> I do know that these are the letters from the SDA. So basically the SDA, <laughs> SDA is particularly distancing itself from Maponga's teachings, basically, in simple terms. And I know there is something alongside that line which I saw that Beyonce was doing. What's up, guys? It's Rick. This is a Rick's reality show. We do daily Christian commentary videos. If it's the first time seeing any of my videos, we do multiple upload video days so that you will find other videos that are posted on today's episode. They'll be down in the pinned comments. So do check out those videos when you're down over here. We do multiple upload videos because uh, we want to talk about all the stories, but we don't want to make it too long. So we want to make it choppy, choppy, choppy. You know, you can even come back, watch one video, pa, 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 pa. But... Sometimes it's much more easier. All these videos, they come out all at the same time. So do check them out when you're done. Today we are talking about, on this video, we are talking about Maponga's letters. And basically what they're saying is that, you know, we hear what he's saying. We hear what everything, maybe it's his personal philosophies and whatnot. We don't want to get into that. And some of those things are things like this. The streets of gold, when I have never touched the bar of gold on earth. I can't walk to heaven and own the estate of heaven when I failed to look after my own ground. Question, if God wanted us in heaven, why did he create us on earth? Now it's a big mission to kill all of us and resurrect us and move us to heaven for a thousand years and bring us back here again. Why the bother? To kill people during the time, to kill people during the times of Noah and to preserve the devil. To kill your own son and you don't kill the devil. And apparently you must wait until the end of time to kill to kill the devil. Why kill your son when you can kill the enemy yourself? I did see something like that which Beyonce was doing, kind of like taking this idea of being more African at the PET. Can you look up, please? <laughs> I, I did see Beyonce doing something like that. And so I'm going to also take a along with this entire thing. I believe there is a world direction right now and we're going to talk about that the reasons of why they are distancing themselves you can see it in this video right here streets of gold when i have never touched the bar of gold on earth i can't walk to heaven and own the estate of heaven when i fail to look after my own ground question if god wanted us in heaven why did he create us on earth now it's a big mission to kill all of us and resurrect us and move us to heaven for a thousand years and bring us back here again. Why the bother? We kill. So right there, these are the type of teachings that are causing the SGA to distance himself from Maponga. Is he's now gone to the extent of actually saying that God is just killing off. He just created us to put us here, only for Him to just kill us all and then move us somewhere else. It's like. Uh, yeah, it, it's getting it's getting worse by the day. <laughs> like the things that he just keeps saying, they just get, keep getting worse. And so these are some of the reasons. But when the when Beyonce was on the BET, she did something also. I saw it trending on Twitter in the morning, and it, it was something like this. It was a video clip, and you can see the video flashing. I might not show the full uh, uh, video here, but there was a shot where Beyonce is holding a particular book. When you see that book, it's a book about black gods, what, 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 what. I did find the, the actual book. It's this book right here. And guess what? It's the same ideas. It's this idea that well, black people are gods, black people are, you know, and that's the kind of direction that they're going for. It's, it's that there's something special about black people and the whole nine years. That's where all these movements come from. And so the thing that fascinated me was that in the world, they have these agendas of trying to portray black people in a particular way and teaching them all these funny, strange doctrines and stuff like that. And then to have a particular person who's a pastor and he's teaching almost the same thing, the church is distancing themselves from it. It's, it's, you want to be careful what the message is. In Matthew 28, when Jesus left, he told us what the message is. Go out there, teach them what I taught you. 
Uh, and so once you start teaching other things outside of that, I feel like it just creates all kinds of problems. And so that's what I think in my view is that out there promoting this black people gods thing, distance themselves from standard Christianity and make it I'm more black than other people. You know, this, this entire thing of African, uh, pan-Africanism and the whole nine yards. I'm, I'm as black as I can be. I don't need to be more black than this. And so... Uh, I found it funny that I found that I, I saw that there being taught for people that are worldly, and now it's coming into a place where it's been trying to be taught, trying to be taught within a Christian perspective. You want to be careful what you're learning. If a person is now saying, uh, he's not here saying, you know, why is God killing? I mean, like, are you accusing God of? It's like, I don't even need to defend that. If you think that's fine. Continue learning that. I'm not interested in that type of teaching. I don't understand where it comes from. It's not a Christian topic. You can keep it over there. And so that's for me. That's for me as a Christian believer. I don't see a place for that. That's why the world is teaching that. That's why. So when I hear him saying, you know, God created us here only for him to kill us. I mean, like, come on. What do, what do you say to that? And so uh, for SDA, Maybe it does them well for for them to distance themselves. I guess the reason for the distancing is mainly because, you know, an SDA audience is much more connected to this. And I don't think it's Maponga only. I've had other pastors and other SDA pastors who are going on this thing of, you know, black people, black identity and whatnot. When I come to Christ, that black identity, it falls back, man. It falls back. It's the last thing I even think of. And so if that's what you think of, good luck with that and i'm not talking about national identity national identity is important that's why god split us uh, into a scattered us all over the world so that we can be all separate so that that is for a reason i'm an african for a reason but uh, when i became a christian uh, uh, trying to find christianity for an African, no, uh, salvation is salvation. It stays there. Interesting part is seeing it in the world and yet seeing it trying to be implemented within the church. Yeah, tell me what you think. Yeah, be careful what you're out there learning. It's Ricky and I'll see you on a later on episode. Remember, these other episodes that are posted today, they'll be down in the pinned comments. It's Ricky and I'll see you later. Salute!